I would have told you a story I told her today or not. I forgot all about that thing. This is true. It happened in a little town in South Louisiana. I better not told the name. In a restaurant, cafe down there. The Cajun walked in there one day. He sit him down at the table and a cute little female girl, lady, waitress, women. Hoo 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 boy. <laughs> Brought herself up there. He say, how you are, huh? She say, all right, and you? He say, fine, thank you, ma'am, very much. Just so nice, you know. <laughs> she say, what would you like? He say, I'd like a blue plate launch, please, ma'am. What you got on that? Oh, she say, it's good. He said, well, you needn't tell me. You're so cute and pretty and sweet. A pretty thing like you, bound to know what a man won't eat. Just go in the kitchen and blow it out here. I'll eat it. I'll get her on deep. <laughs> and she walked to the kitchen and, hoo-hoo, boy. I'll tell you right now, she walked back and she put that blue plate in front with him. He don't know what he eat yet. <laughs> but he thanked her. He thanked her so nice. He said, thank you so much, darling, for brought that out to me. She said, you're welcome. And she watched him when he get through eating. She brought him some glass of water. And she said, would you like some coffee? Oh, he said, please, ma'am, you sweet thing. If you don't mind, brought me some coffee. She brought his coffee and put it on there. She said, when he get through, would you like some desserts? Oh, he said, I certainly would, darling. What you got for desserts, huh? <laughs> she said, we got two kind of apples, five pound apples and apples. <laughs> he said, well... Honey, would you mind brought me some of them apple pie and a glass of milk, huh? She say, not a bit. He's so not. And she go get them apple pie and them glass of milk. She set them milk down and she set the uh, pie down there in front with him. And she hand him a fork. She say, thank you so much, angels. She say, you're so nice. I wonder would you did me a favor. Oh, he say, of course. Go ahead and ask me. I'll be glad to do it. It don't matter to me what it is. She say, okay, I want you to took that fork. In your hand, I want you to beat on the top of that pie real hard. And if a roach don't run out, don't you eat it because that son of a gun's still in there, you hear? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that I, I appreciate you coming out tonight more than you'll ever know. Uh, you've been a magnificent audience, and that's top grade, magnifique. In view of all this weather we've had, I don't see why the hell you came, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> the only reason I did is because I wanted to hear you laugh. The most wonderful music in the world to me is for people to laugh. But I don't think people laugh enough, believe me. Now, in telling these Cajun stories, I, I, I'm half bleed Cajun and very proud of it. The only regret that I have is I'm not full bleed. <laughs> because they have more fun than any people in the world, believe me. They really do. In telling these stories, I may use a few hells and damns because that's the way Cajuns talk. In fact, they've got a lot of other wonderful words that I've learned to delete from my vocabulary. <laughs> now, I might have offended someone with my use of these words. I hope I didn't because it's... I didn't fly out here on an airplane scared to death to offend anyone. And I want you to know, any of you who are offended, that you shouldn't be because neither word is obscene nor profane. Look it up. But some of you may have thought that, or one of you may have, I don't know. It may have offended some of you, and I, I didn't come here to do that. So if I did offend anyone, I want you to know I'm infinitely sorry, and I apologize from the very bottom of my heart. Please accept that apology. Doesn't that sound nice? Actually, I don't give a damn. Did you know that? Thank you so much. Au revoir.